for the dinner and we're going to get to celebrating our accomplishments here for a few minutes. But first, I've been asked to share some remarks about um, some of our plans for 2015 for the United Mountain Horse Association. So if you'll bear with us for just a little bit, we want to talk a little bit about some of the things that are coming down the pike. We've got an exciting year ahead. As most of you know, 2014 was a year of rebuilding for the United Mountain Horse Association. And we really do want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your support. You're the ones who make all of this possible. This is the United Mountain Horse Association. The UMH has long been a place where the very best mountain horses and the very best trainers could be found. The quality of our horses and the professionalism of our trainers truly helps to set us apart in this industry. Our mission here at the UMH is to promote this breed, to encourage new owners, new breeders, and new trainers to come in and to discover for themselves just how talented and versatile our horses really are. And our mission is also to share the story of these horses with the world. We are here to provide top class competition venues and an atmosphere of fellowship and enjoyment for everyone who comes to participate. We are here to act as the stewards of the history and the future of this fantastic breed. So the other key part of our mission in 2015 is to support our members, which is you guys. Moving forward, we want your membership to mean something. We want it to have a real value and a real significance. We think that's very, very important. What's our goal for 2015? We believe it's vital for the very best mountain horse breeders, trainers, and farms to be in the spotlight as we move ahead. Our new certification programs that you'll hear a little bit more about here in a few minutes are going to provide online listings of all the breeders, all the trainers, and all the farms who choose to participate in the certification process. Qualified farms will be able to achieve certified breeder and or certified trainer status and be featured and promoted on our website and our social media sites. Our goal is to market our members' services and talents by helping connect potential customers with the appropriate farm or trainer. We want to support the validity of our trainers and to protect the integrity of the association by requiring our participants to meet specific standards in order to achieve their certification, thereby presenting to the equine world our very best. In recent years, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and online marketing have evolved into critical tools for marketing these horses and our horse-related businesses. Mountain horses are not just found in little pockets of Kentucky anymore. They're all over the world. The breed is gaining popularity and drawing the interest and attention of a global industry. The social media and online marketing present some unique challenges. People new to the breed are not always able to make contact with the appropriate trainer, farrier, dentist, vet, riding instructor, and we want to help change that. We believe it's our responsibility to market the very best our industry has to offer to the world. We believe it's our responsibility to tell that story about these amazing horses and how the breed and the association have evolved. And we believe it's our responsibility to promote the people who have been devoted and committed to this breed and this association for so many years. One of the most effective ways to promote our industry as we move forward is to provide a place and a venue for the general public to find quality horses and qualified trainers with verified references so that they know exactly what they're getting when they make that phone call. This allows new enthusiasts to have a good experience as a potential owner of a mountain horse and brings new people to our breed. Bad horses, bad trainers, or bad business. We have seen in other breeds and associations throughout the equine industry how much damage a few bad individuals can do to an entire association. 
that's not the story that we want to tell. When people come to the United Mountain Horse Association, we want them to find trainers who can work with them on their specific goals. Whether their interest is trail riding, trail obstacle, gated dressage, driving, it doesn't matter. For the beginner or the seasoned show person, the key to success is the very best training for both the horse and the rider. So at no cost to our website visitors, we are going to provide a list of UMH certified trainers with special expertise in their area of interest. We will refer only those who have demonstrated the highest standards of personal and professional integrity. Only those trainers who meet the qualifications of the UMH Trainers Program and who have agreed to the Code of Ethics are eligible for membership. UMH has established this Certified Trainer Program to allow you and your training facility a way to set yourself apart. You will be listed on the website along with a profile of yourself, your farm, and your facility. The UMH will spotlight your specific talents and link to your website, allowing us to set the bar just a little bit higher for our breed and our association. So for those interested in the Certified Trainers Program, we'll have binders at the registration table. You can stop by and pick those up on your way out. Um, if you're interested in being part of this program, stop by and talk to us. If you have questions, um, I know Jim, Judy, Karen are all available this evening to answer those. So please come to us, talk to us about it, share your feedback. We think this is really exciting going ahead into 2015 and has tremendous potential to help us promote these great horses. Um, so just a few more comments. Who are your customers, really? In 2014, approximately 34% of the horse owners in the U.S. had income of less than $50,000. So that sort of uh, lays that myth that we're all wealthy people to rest. And I think that's something that's important to consider as we market these horses. But the other thing that I think is interesting is in the 2012 uh, census that was taken by the American Horse Council, they reported that there's 9.2 million horses in the United States. 9.2 million. Of those, 6 million are used for showing and recreation. That's our horses. That's our customers. Those are the people we need to market to. So that's what we need to keep in mind as we move forward with the Certified Trainer and Breeder Program. Uh, the Breeder Certification Program is also something new that we're just getting started. And what will happen is in the near future, we're going to be taking the first steps to establish this Mountain Horse Certified Breeders Program. We have initiated discussion with the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture to establish extension program classes for mountain horse breeders that will give them the educational credentials to become a certified breeder. We're attempting to make this opportunity available nationally and internationally via the internet. And this is our first step to a credible certification program. The UMH would like to believe that those in the market for a quality mountain horse take into consideration what goes into being a qualified and a certified breeder. We're implementing this program in an attempt to raise the bar on those standards and, and raise the bar on who is considered a quality, professional breeding facility for our group. So we hope that you agree as we move into 2015 that there's some exciting things coming and that we really are out there to work for you. And we would encourage your ideas, be they, be they positive or negative, we would encourage your feedback. This is your association, and we want to hear from you on what we can do to make it better in 2015. So now that that part is out of the way, we'll get to what everybody's really here for, which is to hand out just a few trophies and ribbons. And are you ready, Miss Page? <laughs>